All right, let's just dive right in here. In most building demolitions, the building materials are destroyed and sent to landfills. City officials in Portland, Oregon wanted to reduce this waste. The officials passed a law requiring demolition companies to deconstruct some buildings instead. Deconstruction involves carefully taking buildings apart, piece by piece. Damage to the materials is avoided so they can be reused in new constructions. A 2019 study found that 27% of materials from deconstructions in Portland were able to be reused. The remaining materials were processed for recycling instead of going to a landfill. Okay, so, I don't know, things are saved, recycled. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the main purpose is, but I get it, right? There's nothing really hard about that. Uh, <clears throat> to A, to explain an effort made by the city of Portland to reduce demolition waste and some results of that effort. Yeah, okay, they, you know, they, they're reducing waste, so they're saving things, and the result is that 27% of materials from deconstructions are blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, all this checks off, right? So... Uh, it seems right. Let's look at B. To show that popular support mm, for measures that reduce demolition waste has increased since 2019. Well, no, that, like that's not the survey. The survey is not like what people think of this. The survey is about the materials that were saved. So I don't know anything about the popular support. C, to argue that building deconstruction is not as effective as other measures. No, the whole point is that it's good, right? So positive, negative, you just use connotations. That's bad. Plus, not as effective, right? What are we doing? We're making a comparison. Was this passage comparing demolition waste to anything else? Maybe it was comparing it to just throwing it all in the landfill, but it wasn't comparing it to other types of ways of saving things. So uh, this is just another classic trap. D, to discuss laws aimed to reduce demolition waste in Portland and compare them to similar laws in other cities. No, again, we're, there's no comparison. We're not talking about other cities. It's just a classic trap. I don't think this is a hard question. I think this is very easy. Um, just... You know, my advice is kind of to do what I did, right? Notice that when I read, I didn't really highlight anything. I didn't really underline anything. I didn't try to memorize any of these specific facts. For me, it was very easy to just kind of get the gist and commit that to memory. Okay, it's about saving stuff from deconstructing. Like, I get it. Any details that might have mattered along the way weren't going away, right? I could always refer back to the passage if the choice has made me. Uh, most of the time, they're not going to make you. So just don't worry about that stuff until you absolutely need to. This is another kind of core idea around that 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 strategy of a dumb summary is like, don't do more work than you need. You can always make your summary smarter if needed, but most of the time you won't need to. So why waste the brain power and the time?